Finally, I wanted to do a sit down video, talk to you about weight gain, my journey. You know, I was gonna go get some coffee, get my Halloween cup. I wouldn't be a trainer if I don't try to make you move your body, right? So I'm gonna be talking to you about how to weigh, gain the healthy way, bulking, reverse dieting, Nutrition is a very, very, very sensitive topic. So I want to make sure that I am considering everyone's experience. There's so many different types of disorders that I want to make sure that I take into account. And in no way am I saying I'm the healthiest bitch. In no way am I saying I eat healthy every single day. No. Today's video is for motivational purpose informational purpose but before we begin make sure to go ahead and subscribe to my channel because you gotta support your girl you know what's up um i'm gonna go ahead and finish my pre-workout and then we're gonna get it we're gonna get it we're gonna get it and we're gonna work out and we're gonna chat we're gonna chat and we're gonna work out it does not get better than this so i'll see you in the gym Let's go. So tip number one, and your meals. Your meals shouldn't be large portions. It should be not very small portions, but this is where it gets tricky. You have to listen to your body. You have to listen to your body. You have to make sure that when you're full, you stop eating. So I could guide you on how to eat healthy, but you are the one that really knows your body and really knows, like yo, I am full. And people need to understand what full means. Full does not mean I'm about to throw up because I ate so much. That's not what full means. Full means I ate and I feel good and I have energy to go on with my day. Most people like me, I'm going to be honest, people like me that have a busy life, this is what you do. You're going to eat three meals, right? I, right, you want to eat three meals? This is how you're going to do it. Breakfast, you're going to have all of your macros, including your veggies. Now, you're going to have your carbs at breakfast because you need fuel. So breakfast, you're gonna have all of your macros. When it comes to lunch, you don't want to get as much carbs. You wanna try to make your lunch as trying to get almost all of your veggies for the day. So let's say that you are supposed to eat a certain amount of veggies. I do not know because I'm not your nutritionist, but if you were one of my clients, I will for sure know what kind of macros you are supposed to be eating. So for example, I will make sure that you are eating most of your veggies at lunch so for dinner i'm gonna be honest for dinner people like me who get hungry at night time this is perfect for you right so you're gonna eat your carbs your protein your fats around six o'clock though after six o'clock you eat again at eight but you wouldn't be eating a meal you will be eating now a snack now what are snacks perfect snack combination would be nuts and fruits once you add a fruit to your nut mix or your nuts to your fruit you'll be fuller for longer. And one more thing is, I know that they say drink tea at night. Guys, drink tea at night. It's gonna help you relax, it's gonna help your body cool down, and it's also gonna detox your body for the next morning. If I'm gonna give you a time frame, again, I, you are not my client, so I don't know specifically your lifestyle. I do not know specifically what you can eat, what you cannot eat, what you like, what you do not like. I only know based on my nutrition, my lifestyle, my life, my don't like, the macros that my body needs. But I usually do this. I usually wake up around five. I take my, listen, first thing I do is this. I drink water. You have to drink water. First thing, you've been fasting. You've been fasting. You've been, you have not been drinking water for almost eight to 10 hours, depending on your sleeping. Drink water, take your vitamins. Don't start with coffee, take your vitamins, drink water. After you do that, you have your breakfast. I would say around eight o'clock, depending what time you start your day. I wake up early, I can start my breakfast at eight. The latest, nine o'clock. I should not be eating breakfast at 10 if I'm waking up at five. I'm gonna be starving, got that. So I'm gonna eat my breakfast around eight, latest nine o'clock. My lunch, I'm gonna be eating it from 12 to one o'clock. Mostly vegetables, to try to get all of the vegetables that I need for the day. I will eat another snack around three four o'clock there i'm gonna try to honestly i try to get my yogurt i don't drink cow milk at all 
So almond milk yogurt, they have cow, they have cow milk yogurt, but it's up to you. Lactic, listen, there's so many type of yogurts depending on what you like. I do not drink cow milk, so I go for the more, I go for the products that don't have cow milk inside. No dairy, um, but I do eat cheese though. Boom, I ate my lunch. I ate my snack. Snack, yogurt. I try to leave my nuts for the night time. I'm trying to get things that are really gonna fill me up and are gonna hold me down until dinner, but I won't be starving. Drink. Keep in mind, all, all through this time, I'm drinking water. So when I'm hungry, I'm really hungry. I'm not thirsty, I'm not bored. I just need fuel. So, a perfect snack for the afternoon is fruits. Try to get as much fruits as you need during your snacks. Now my dinner is gonna be around six o'clock. And then at eight, I eat my nuts with my fruits. If I want yogurt, I put um, chia seeds in my yogurt to keep me full until the next day. Tip number two, after the workout. Number two, if you're bulking, if you're reverse dieting, if you're dieting, if you're cutting, if you're trying to maintain, all of these fit, all of these phases require nutritionist food. You need nutritionist food, not junk food. I'm not saying you cannot eat junk food. I'm gonna be that trainer that tells you the truth. I'm the type of trainer or I'm the type of nutritionist. I do not cut nothing out of my diet. I don't restrict myself. I don't lock myself in my house and can't go out because I'm dieting or bulking. No. I live my life in a healthy way. And as a nutrition, when I am trying to get a client join me, I'm going to be honest. And if you know me, you know me. I'm very picky with who I choose. That's right. I choose my clients. I choose who I train. I choose based on the mindset. If somebody's coming to me talking about, I want to lose weight. I don't want to give too much information because this is these are real people. I have a purpose behind, I want to lose weight. Purpose. It has to be more than physical. I, I I get it. We all want to look great, but how do you want to feel? What's your long-term goal? Those are real conversations that I have with my clients. I start with their mind. I start with their mind. And how do I start with their mind? I break down why are they here today. The surface is because I want to lose weight, because I want to gain weight, because I want to maintain. That's the surface, but what's the real truth? Why are you here today? What's your goal? Then we start to break it down. Oh, then you want to be healthy because you want to live a more healthier lifestyle for your family. Oh, you are not really sure enough for yourself and you feel tired and you feel lazy because of what you're eating and because you're not putting yourself first, your health first. Those are what I like to hear when I'm having a meeting. Because when I hear that, guess what? There's when I come in and help you gain your power back. Help you, guide you. I always say this, as a trainer, I never want my clients to stay with me forever. I wanna give you the tools, but then you can move on. I wouldn't want any client to stay with me forever. Then I'm not doing my job. I wanna be able to give you the tools, but then you can go ahead and advance. That's what I was saying. You have to eat nutritional food. I'm gonna be blunt without saying too much. I have people that might say, example, I don't want to eat that or I don't like that. Are you allergic to it? What's your goal? Can you overcome it? How can we help you overcome it? Because guess what? It's just not food. You might not like something, but you still have to show up for yourself. You might not want to work out that day, but you still have to show up for yourself. So, you know, that's when I get my mother hat on and I really sit down and talk. Most of my first days is talking, getting to know you, getting to really know who you are and what are your goals. Because sometimes you don't even know what you want. All of my um, programs are more than physical, are more than just movement. So, and anybody that I have trained, I have trained with somebody this past weekend. Listen, that was an amazing class. So, it was just amazing. Like, I really, 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 really went in, not only with movement, because, you know, I really set up every single class specifically for that person, specifically for what they need. But it was just more, and I... Honestly, they did something that I was like, yo, I could tell that you are my client. I could tell that I am your trainer. When I first met them, 
they would have never probably done that. They would have just stand back and just say, you know what, I'm not gonna do it. Somebody else would do it. But this time they took charge and they said, I got it. Those are tools that I give people that they learn with me, that they see me doing because I don't only guide you. I walk my talk. I show up for you. Whatever I say, that means I'm doing. I don't tell you, do this, and then you're gonna see me doing something else. Whatever I tell you, I'm doing right with you. And that's why I'm very picky with who with, with who I welcome into, into my programs because I really care. And this right here goes beyond fitness. This is more for me. For me personally, I'm doing this for a higher purpose. This is just not, let's move my body and go home. Because what happens when you go home and your trainer's not there? I wanna make sure that I'm giving you the tools that when I'm not there, you're confident. You got this, you're strong, you're powerful. All right, let's get back to the exercise. Reduce your caffeine. Yes, Maribel is saying that. Who knows that I love caffeine, but I also love candy. Do you see me eating candy? Do I always eat the sugar? Do I always drink caffeine? No. Do I enjoy them? Yes. Do I earn them? Yes. What does that mean? Let's get into earning because that gets mixed up. Earning means you're showing up for yourself. What does showing up mean? Let's break that down too. Example, Maribel doesn't wake up on time to get her workout in. But I'm craving a coffee. I need a coffee right now, but I didn't work out. Mindset, I'm gonna drink my coffee and I'm gonna show up for myself in another way. I didn't get to work out. That does not mean I didn't show up for myself. I probably took a rest day. I probably was strict with myself that day when it came to making sure that I stood to my macros. When I was in college, during my, during my second degree of college, I actually know when I, my first degree of college, I had a really bad relationship with food. I went from starving myself because I wanted to be skinny. Then my second degree, I continued that, but it got worse because other things, because life happened. And when I see my pictures from my college years and my actions, they will go hand to hand. Because if I know myself today, thanks to my hard work, Thanks for my knowledge that I have gained through my program. Now I can tell you, Maribel matches her actions and her food. I really wish I could just be everyone's trainer because I really want everybody to know food is fuel. Our bodies are temples. We are lucky. We are lucky to have this avatar right here. Listen, I had a really bad relationship with food, but I love fitness. I love feeling healthy. I love everything about fitness, but I wasn't being fit. I was actually hurting my body, hurting my mind. I needed certain macros, certain things that I was not getting because I was either starving myself. And then after I starved myself for a certain amount of years, honestly, I lost some type of appetite. So now I don't have appetite and I want to gain weight. So now your girl can eat because she's not hungry. And there is where this video comes to me and, and why it's so important that I help you either start a relationship with your food, understand a little bit more of food. So, back to my story. I actually gain weight, but I gain weight not the healthy way either. So when you do things that are not the proper way, you gain trauma, you gain bad habits, that then you have to reverse yourself and learn how to break out of them, right? I would say around COVID, honestly, my lifestyle was, some people would say good, I was fit, I was eating salads, greens, my shots. So my mindset didn't match nothing. That's when I decided to change my life. And I started to actually go for my purpose in life. I started to, I went back to school, this time for my third degree. And I went for my purpose, fitness, health. In this industry, I noticed it's not what I thought it was, honestly. People are in it for the wrong reason. They're here for selfish reasons. And I'm not gonna brag or anything, but I'm just gonna tell from my heart. I'm here for you. I'm here because I wanna help you. And when I say help, I mean it. I wanna help you be 
healthy, be a better version of yourself that you know you could be. I want to push you. And yes, my videos might not be the best videos. And yes, I'm new at doing YouTube videos. And yes, I'm new at this. But everything I do is very genuine. It's very, from my heart, it's very selfless. All, everything that I have earned and learned from my school, I want to share. I don't want to keep anything to myself. I want to share my knowledge with you guys. This is why I started my channel. And I am not, believe it or not, I'm not a very shy person. I usually, my circle, when I tell you, it, my circle is one, two, three, four, four people, four people. That's my circle. Everything I do on this channel, I do it from my heart. I do it because I'm being genuine. And when I don't want to wake up and do one more videos, or if I want to start doing things that don't come from Maribel, I will stop. Because I promise myself, everything I do, I will do with a purpose, and I will do because I choose to do it. And that's what I want to give to every single person who watches my videos or who comes into my world, into my class, you know, into my program. One more thing I want to say is, I might not have all the English words, but your girl is trying. And I know you get what I'm trying to say. And if you, and I'm going to be honest with you, and if this video is not for you, that's okay. But I will not change what I say. I will not change how I feel. And I will continue to show up for those people who are in align with me. Because those are the people I want to reach. If this video right here does not match what you're looking for, please do yourself a favor. Not me. Because I'm still going to show up. Do yourself a favor. Go find somebody else. Every single word in this video, I mean. And I will continue to show up for you guys. The videos will be getting better. I'm gonna keep learning because that's who I am. I set myself goals and I make sure that they happen. Every journey of my life that I start, I finish. It might come out as cocky, conceited, but it's none of that. It's just confidence, power, determination, and that's who Maribel is. All of those words. And that's what I give to people. Beyond being fit, beyond being healthy. I give you the confidence that you need. I give you the power that you need, female or male. I open your eyes to things that you didn't even understand when it came to nutrition, when it came to how your body moves, kinetic movements. So, moving on. <laughs> Tip fifth six. Don't skip meals. People say, I'm gonna diet. I'm skipping my meal. I wanna lose weight. Red flag. Don't skip your meals. Don't skip breakfast. Don't skip lunch. Don't skip dinner. Don't skip none of your meals. And I'm talking about bulking. And I'm talking about gaining weight. And I'm talking about losing weight. You have to be able to wake up, eat your meal, go with your day, use that for you that you just ate to fuel your body. By the time you hit lunch, you should be hungry. By the time you hit dinner, you should be hungry. Because the fuel that you're eating, you're burning throughout the day. Supplements. I am your girl that love supplements. So I will be a two-faced if I say don't use supplements. I love supplements. But this is the thing about me loving supplements. I do not count my supplements and my calories. I do not count my supplements as a substitute. Yes, I drink my protein every single day. Every single day, workout or no workout. And I still eat my breakfast. Supplements are not substitution for food. They are there to supplement what your body needs that you cannot get It's our busy life. Every single thing, every single pill, supplement that you could buy, you could get from your food. Oh, do you need supplements? No. Every single vitamin, supplement you could get from your nutrition. But I'll be two-faced to tell you that I don't take supplements. I take protein, I take pre-workout, I take my vitamins, but I don't count them as my calories, I don't count them as meals, and for sure make sure that I'm eating a balanced, well, nutrition. On top of making sure that I'm saying that you need supplements, because you really don't, but I'm saying what works for me. If it was my client, it would be a different story. As all of my clients know. I do not tell my clients they need supplements, or you better get supplements, or you need it because, no, you need it. It's a strong mindset, healthy, balanced nutrition for your body, not for my body. 
because we're not the same. What I eat, you might, it's different. Different activity levels. Every single person, no matter if you do the same job, has a different activity level. So that, this is why I encourage every single person who's starting the fitness journey to talk to a professional. Talk to a nutritionist, talk to a personal trainer. At least hire them for a month where they can hopefully give you the tools that you need and then you can use. A lot of things online are not tailored to each person, which is why it's so dangerous that people give calories out and they say you should be eating this much calories don't do that this is for the trainers out there don't give specifics out because every person is different and the sad thing is that people see you they want to look like you and they start eating like you and, and they start doing things like you but you have to understand as a client it, it takes time it takes purpose not only purpose it takes there's so much to working out but everything is tailored to the person so i do my workouts at home for you but I don't really give my weight. I, I don't tell you, I, I usually don't tell you how much I live. I don't tell you how much carbs I eat. I don't tell you how much fats I eat throughout the day, how much water I consume. You're drinking water, at least have your weight. That's for sure. But I don't do those things, why? Because everybody journey is in a different stage. Everybody program should be different. So if I'm lifting 250 and you lifting 250 from the back, it's a issue and you're gonna get injured. This is why I don't give you weight this is why I don't give you specifics because every person is different. So that's something else that I want to say. I also forgot to mention when it comes to supplement, you have to make sure to read the labels, read the ingredients as well as read if there was actually review and if they were passed through a third party, which means that they looked into it, they did their own research and it does work. Believe it or not, a lot of supplements do not need to be approved. They could just be able to start selling them without no review. So that's why it's so important to make sure that every supplement that you take says feed, um, FDA. That means that it's been approved by the FDA organization. For all my smoothie lovers, all my protein lovers, I want to gain weight. Drink smoothies. Two smoothies a day. Why? Because you could actually put more calories in a drink. Do not drink only smoothies, breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and then snacks. Girl, you're gonna... This is not gonna go anywhere. This is why I'm very, very, very specific when it comes to like why I'm so iffy about talking about nutrition online. Because I like to tailor it to the person, but this is so hard for me because I don't even like saying this, honestly. This is very... It gets me worried how people might take this and what, might, what they might do with it. If you're trying to gain weight, have two smoothies a day. Your smoothie, add your greens. If you want to add protein, add your protein. If you want to, you're gonna, you are gonna consume most of your calories through a smoothie. Yes. My advice, because I am very, very, this is very close to my heart, and I'm just very picky with what I say online because I'm scared what people might take it as, and they might hear it on their own. I'm not saying drink smoothies every single day. I'm not saying drink smoothies every single meal because it's not healthy. I don't care what nobody says. It's not healthy. You should have different type of food. You should be eating your food. But my tip as a nutrition, if you was my client and you want to gain weight, and we're talking and you tell me, I really want to have my smoothies. I'm going to tell you this. Eat your meals. If you notice, yo, I'm still hungry, or yo, I feel tired, or hey, I need more calories, make your smoothie. I want you to start learning how to eat i want you to start learning when you're full a smoothie might not do that i'm sorry it might not and i know that it's science that you could get away with smoothies but i'm trying to do more than that eat your meals if you want a little boost have your smoothie i personally like to journal i have plenty of journal all over my house i have like i can't even count them by now every room has a journal probably journal journal how you feel journal what's your goal journal 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 you have apps now i have a physical journal and i have an app journal because i'll be in bed and i want to write this was this this happened last week i was talking about it with somebody very 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 dear to me i woke up at 12 because i wanted to write and i didn't go to bed till four o'clock writing full journaling is very 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 key when you're starting your journey Write down what you eat. That's why if, if you have an app, I would encourage you to use the app. If you have a nutritionist, even better. Because they are really going to give you the tools that you need. Apps are good. Journals are good. I am the queen of trying new 
things, try new cultures, try new experiences. What I mean by culture, new food. You might not like it, but you tried it. If you know me as Maribel, try, because I try everything. I like trying, I like to experience. You should be, you should be experiencing fitness in different type of classes, different food, different people even. Get to know what you like, what you don't like. Hey, I might not eat salmon, and I'm, I'm gonna be honest. Some people that I know be like, I don't like salmon, I don't like salmon. They eat it, oh, tastes good, I like salmon. Experience, experience. As long as you're not allergic or you're not hurting yourself with any type of food, you could experience. And you could give it more than one try. Lifting is not for everyone. Cardio is not for everyone. Pilates is not for everyone. Yoga is not for everyone. But at least you can say, I tried, and I tried not once, multiple times. So this is your nutrition video. I really hope I got my point across. I really hope you got to see me a little bit better. Um, this is my channel. This is who I am. Always lead with positivity. Always lead with a positive mindset, growth mindset. Guys, I'll see you next time. Make sure to tag me in all of your pictures. I love seeing everyone's progress. I love helping you. If you need any guidance, any help, DM me. I see, I see everyone's DM. And I try to respond to most, but y'all know I'm back in school. Your girls went back to school. I'm just trying to be the best at this for you guys, for myself. I'm trying to grow as a person, as a trainer, as a nutritionist. Yo, your girls out. I'll see you on my next video. Bye!